people look out for beautiful places and others they make place beautiful isn't it well a very warm welcome to all of you to the prop guides beautiful home series with celebrities today we are at sanjana jones place sanjana jones is a new york based fashion designer who resides in gurgaon let's take a tour with her How are, How are you? Welcome, welcome. Such a pleasure having you a here. Very warm welcome, welcome to our show. Let's take a quick tour of your house. Welcome right in. Yeah. There we go. Well, here we are. Yes. So Sanjana, when did you buy this house or I should rather say construct it? It's still work in progress if you ask me. I got the home uh, like I think almost 3 4 years ago but I you know came here I loved the space then I bought it because I liked the energy of this area I'm molding it to my liking so as you can see that it's work in progress at this point but at this point at least the basic area where you can sit where I can be secluded from the the rest of it because this I call a dog house I have adopted 21 babies from the street and it's their home So to get a space that is, you know, molded for their needs, it's very difficult. So I've been kind of constructing, changing, making it appropriate, like making it baby safe. I've been making it puppy safe. In the hustle bustle of city traffic, why have you chosen Gurgaon when you have, uh, you know, when you can live in South Delhi? Exactly what you said. The hustle bustle of the city is what I want to stay away from. My life is a roller coaster ride in any case every day you know you're traveling you're going from one city to the other so when you come home you want it to be a a sanctuary of sorts away from the hustle bustle away from the you know chaos of the city and i think gurgaon is it's far away yet it's close enough so most of the time we go against traffic hours so it's it's fine we're not we don't have to i mean at least i don't have to travel during you know work hours so it's not that bad plus the greenery that i can get which i am very particular about such a lovely house in fact you know i wanted to ask you who designed it it was a already built space that i got but then i have been working on changing and molding and modulating it to the way i need it's home and as you say home is where the heart is i've just tried to make it very personalized because uh, when you come home you just it, it's your space it's your little cocoon that you want to curl up and feel totally comfortable so i've made i i i in fact like a very very traditional feel so even though it's modern i've tried to you know bring in a very victorian very um, you know uh, a traditional feel as well so it's a blend of both and as we look around i love golds so you can see a lot of play of golds because i think golds make the home feel a, you know a, it gives a special richness to the style and you know the way you present it always looks better it's just my little again dining area which i think resonates with me because i like a lot of uh, you know yin yang feel and i definitely believe in feng shui so most of the things that we have done we have tried to maintain that I would like to ask you why this gate and you know it is has it has been done creatively like I told you this is a dog house so this is kept to keep the dogs from fighting with each other so this gate has been very creatively made and kept uh, again in a victorian manner even though everybody sees through the the victorian uh, you know design aspect i know that you are a famous fashion designer and more than that you are a social activist If you can throw some light on that please see for me fashion has always been a medium it's been a means to the end 
I basically feel that what we should work on most is to try and make the world a better place to live. So I've used my fashion environment as a medium, a base to get the message across. And thankfully, I've been very blessed that there have been a lot of recognition and a lot of support from the community. The work uh, predominantly in the social arena, because whatever I've done in fashion, I've always promoted some charity or some cause through it. Uh, female feticide has been a huge cause, women empowerment, cruelty against animals, environment. So this uh, to me is a, a very small token of uh, appreciation from everybody and everything that I see. It brings me a lot of uh, encouragement and makes me feel like okay somebody somewhere is at least uh, you know thankful but more than being thankful I hope it inspires other people to do the same because that's what really it's sending a message out to people to be better human beings and hopefully it does. That is your favorite corner? There are two favorite corners because there's a terrace garden which is which is amazing especially on moonlit nights to just sit there and, and see the full moon because you get a clear view of full moon from the terrace but this is nice because during the day to come and sit here and in the evening especially when the sun goes down the terrace garden is perfect so the garden definitely is my favorite space. Take a seat. So much greenery here, I loved it, you know, completely. And so, such a colourful land over here, lovely. So if you can explain me about all of that. In fact, uh, it's a very Victorian uh, feel that we have created. All these lambs were custom made. I got the guy to custom make these lambs because I, I like the Victorian feel. And in fact, I always go back to that traditional Victorian look. And even the chairs, it's the same. You know, you can see that it's a Victorian uh, carving and the, the feel is the same. And the only thing that, I, that goes with everything is, of course, the greenery. So no matter what you do, as long as you have greenery, I think it makes it look beautiful. And uh, the sense of serenity that you give or you get from being here, I think that is incredible. What exactly inspires you? The, the brighter your light is, the faster you burn up. So give back, you know, be that, that is the inspiration in life. When you see you've done something good and when you see the result of what you've done, that is inspirational. The true inspiration to me is life itself. And then when I just sit and look around at the beauty of nature and look around at the beauty of what he's created, I try to bring forth at least a part of that inspiration into my creativity. Now we go to my other favorite space, my terrace garden. Lovely. So let me take you there. This, of course, is my mandir. And uh, this is where I get my personal energy from. Because every time I feel a little down, or I feel like I need to get rejuvenated. I think I just come, I pour my heart out and I place all my worries and uh, problems out here. So this has been a huge, huge sense of support for me. Sure. Come Natasha. So here it is, my favorite, favorite space, my terrace garden. And especially moonlit nights, full moon nights, you just come here and, and relish the moonlight. It's just amazing. So this is my, and then you can see all the buildings around, which are, you know, huge constructions that, you know, multi, multi-storied buildings. And in the midst of that, little haven of, of greenery and uh, little haven of, I think, peace. So. This is my home. Thank you so much, Sanjana, for being in our show. My pleasure, <laughs> Natasha. It was wonderful having you and your team here. Thank you so much. In fact, you know, after a stressful days in the hustle bustle of city traffic, I am so peaceful here. And uh, I have seen the designing of Victorian era and I'm here around the nature. What else you want in life? Have a great day, guys. And thank you so much, Sanjana. Thank you, Natasha. My pleasure.